So let's examine how the leaving group found on our substrate affects our SN1 reaction. So let's begin by looking at the first step of our SN1 reaction. This is known as the ionization reaction. So the first step of the SN1 reaction, the ionization step, determines the step or the rate of that reaction. In other words, the more of this substrate we have, the higher our rate. The less of it we have, the lower our rate. Now, let's examine stability. So, how do we know in which direction our reaction takes place? Does it take place this way or in reverse? Is it more likely to go forward or in reverse? Well, in order to answer that question, we have to examine the stability of our products versus our reactants. In other words, if we look at the products, the more stable our products, the more likely our reaction will take place from, from left to right, from reactant side to product side. In other words, the stable this area is, the stable the products are, the further to the right our equilibrium lies. Once again, the more stable our products, the more product favored our reaction is. And this means that a good leaving group will be more stable than a bad leaving group. In other words, if this leaving group is a good leaving group, that means it's very likely to detach. So that should mean that the better the leaving group is, the more stable it is. The more likely that our reaction lies towards the product side. So let's suppose we have the following two reactions. We have our substrate with X as the leaving group and this substrate with our Y as the leaving group. Now, let's suppose this reaction is more likely to take place. That simply means that our products are more stable than reactants. That these two molecules together are more stable than these two molecules. And that also means that this is a better leaving group X is a better leaving group than Y because X is more stable than Y when they're by themselves, when they have detached from these two carbocations. So let's look at two examples where this is true. Let's suppose we have one substrate on which we have our hydroxide leaving group and the second substrate on which we have our water molecule as the leaving group. Now, Let's suppose that both of these reactions take place and let's examine which one of these reactions is more likely to take place and why. Notice that our carbocation is identical, so that means in order to determine which one of these reactions is more likely to take place, we have to look at the leaving group. Which one of these leaving groups is more stable? Well, notice the hydroxide has a negative sign, and whenever we have a positive or a negative sign on a molecule, that means it will destabilize that molecule. But notice our, our water molecule is neutral. So that means because this carries a negative charge, while this carries no charge, this water molecule will be more stable than this hydroxide, and so this will be a worse uh, leaving group than this water molecule. This is a very good leaving group, whereas this is very poor leaving group. So, once again, the better the leaving group, the more likely the ionization step will take place and the more likely our SN1 reaction occurs. Now notice above, the hydroxide is a poor leaving group because it produces a charged molecule, this hydroxide with a negative charge. So we go from neutral to negative, while in this case we go from positive to neutral. So that means this will be better or more stable than this because we go from charge to no charge compared to neutral to charge. So once again, on the other hand, water is a much better leaving group because it is neutral. So, our leaving group is very important in the SN1 reaction because if we have a poor leaving group, that leaving group will not be able to detach. It will not dissociate and that means our products will not form. So, if we have a poor leaving group, in order for the SN1 reaction to take place, we must first convert our poor leaving group into a good leaving group. So, in this case, one thing we could have done is simply added, we could have added an H plus ion. 
And this H plus ion could have been taken by this pair of electrons. And then we convert this molecule to this molecule in which we go from a poor to a good leaving group.